Well, you guys are gonna totally kill us, but we did it again. I wanna just sit outside and have a candid talk with you guys. Don't worry, nothing too scary. My mic on? What? Oh, <laughs> this might be harder than I thought. What's up, universe? It's Julie, your kitchen coach, and welcome back to our channel. And in case you're new, I'm a trained chef who's passionate about helping beginner cooks gain confidence in the kitchen. I'm a chef, but I'm also a wife, a mom, an avid thrifter, and I have a lot of sides to me that I want to share with you, but I don't always feel like I can. So that's why if you didn't know, we do have a vlog channel, or can I say, we did have a vlog channel. This is what I mean by we did it again. We are changing our mind yet again, and this is probably the third or fourth time. We started out with one channel, this channel that you see right here. Then we decided to share more of our lives with you, like when we go on vacation. And then eventually when I became a mom, it was like mom life. Also, I started to rediscover my love for thrifting. As you know, that is such a huge part of me because I'm all about being resourceful, not only in the kitchen, but in my everyday life. So if you didn't check out our pantry organization video, you can take a look to see that I actually am resourceful. I used the things that I had on hand and I didn't really go out and buy new things. I recycled old kimchi jars and used whatever I had. That's kind of like my life mantra. I always say secondhand first. And in fact, this patio set that I'm sitting on right now, ooh, with the nice rocking chairs over here, this is also secondhand. We got it from Facebook Marketplace when we first moved to our new home. And it's been kind of cold outside, so I haven't had a chance to really sit out here. But I'm doing it today because just wanted to change the scenery. We started out with one channel, Chef Julie Yoon. It then became two channels. It was called Our Universe, based off of the riff of our last name. And Joe was voluntarily helping me out with that one. But then eventually he got a little busy and then we felt like it was very hard to maintain. So we decided to go back to one channel. We're like, you know what? It's so hard to keep up with putting content on this main channel and putting it out on our vlog channel. Let's put it together back on our main channel. So we did that for a little while. And that especially happened when we went around with my like pregnancy journey. Um, I was so excited to become a new mom. Heck, we were both excited to become new parents. I started to share kind of like the journey of becoming a mom, the adventure into motherhood. And that took over my life. So I couldn't really film a lot of cooking stuff. I couldn't do recipes. We couldn't get back into the groove. And so I was like, you know, I don't want to be completely silent. So I'm going to share more of that. And then I started sharing my love of thrifting with you because honestly, I would come home from a nice day of thrifting, share my loot with Joe, and he couldn't care. I'm sorry, I don't really care. <laughs> so I was like, I need somewhere to put my creativity. So definitely those videos were more like a creative outlet and for me to be able to express myself, like other sides of me. Eventually we realized because of the YouTube algorithm, as we mentioned in our 10 year anniversary video, that you know, it was kind of messing it up. So if people were skipping our videos, like they didn't want to see that content, um, then YouTube would think that they didn't want to see any of our content. And then even our recipe videos and cooking videos wouldn't come up in your notifications. By the way, if you want more videos from us, make sure you turn on your notifications. You can set it to all notifications or otherwise, but definitely hit that bell and make sure you adjust your settings. By the way, how many people have a Yeti cup and love it? We drink our coffee out of this every day. I honestly like made this coffee a couple hours ago and I'm still sipping it. Sorry if I'm squinting too, it is a bit bright out. It's weird, it's like bright but cold. So I'm like chilly, but I'm just doing this anyway. <laughs> we ended up thinking, okay, it's messing up the algorithm. And if we're gonna be these like, like A student YouTubers and take this seriously, we gotta split that content back up so that when people come to our channel, they know what to expect. Like when they're like looking at my thrifting, my mom life, travel videos, restaurant reviews, and then recipes, they're like, I don't even know what I'm getting from this channel. Should I even subscribe? or people could see some of our videos, subscribe, and then the next video comes out as a thrifting video. They're like, what the heck did I just sign up for? We understand, it's still confusing. But we moved some of that content over to our vlog channel again. But this time Joe couldn't be as involved because he had a part-time job now. He works part-time for our church and so he wouldn't be able to spend as much time on all this kind of content with me, which is why when you see these vlogs, it's filmed by me and edited by me. And that's why they're not like, as crazy cool or artistic but you know I think it gets the job done we went back to our vlog channel 
but instead of calling it our universe, I switched it over to the name Life with Julie Yoon. And I made a little tagline called Life Beyond the Kitchen. I was really happy about that. I felt like relieved because for a while I felt a little stifled, like I couldn't truly be myself or share all parts of me. And so I felt like if it wasn't food or cooking related, then I felt like I didn't have a right or I couldn't share any of my life unless it was on this vlog channel. And in a perfect world, that would make sense to still keep it divided, right? To have all my lifestyle stuff on one channel and my cooking and kitchen related stuff on another, right? That makes the most sense. But when it came down to it, we had to show ourselves grace, okay? Because with the new rhythm of how things are, plus the pandemic didn't help, Lincoln does go to school, but he does go to school only three days a week as of now. And so then four days a week, I'm watching him as full-time mom. So it's a lot to switch gears in my head. And oftentimes I'll have to do work when he goes down late at night, but I'm really tired by then. I have to give up life during the weekends. Like I can't really do family time or hang out or do play dates or go out for girlfriend dates. And it's kind of like the sacrifice we took when we decided to be YouTubers, right? So then I started doing that, but I still couldn't get the content out. So if you actually look at just pure numbers at analytics, like Joe picked out the analytics and he showed me the numbers. He's like, look, in the past year and a half, all you did was put four videos out and we're having so many people come over to this other channel to watch four videos in a year and a half. And so he doesn't think that's fair to our audience or to me because that means I have to work so hard on trying to get all these videos out and balance them between the two channels. And logistically speaking, because we weren't posting on our universe for a really long time, after a while it became unmonetized. And so then whatever videos I did put out on Life with Julie Yoon, they weren't being monetized. So all the videos I put out there, all the four videos, were not being paid. And so that's a lot of work and time and investment for us to put into there to edit these videos if we're not getting paid. And yes, we could slowly start to build that up again and eventually get monetized and eventually make money, but who knows how long that's going to take. On top of it, trying to switch over to our channel and back and forth is confusing for a lot of our viewers. So I know a lot of our viewers who watch both the content, I know who you are, like you leave your, your handle names, your comments, and you come to both channels and you watch both our stuff. So. We realized over time, we mentioned this in our 10 year anniversary video, that our channel is awesome for people who are new, like you're always welcome. Like you can always come and discover us later and I hope you like us, you can, you're free to binge watch all of our videos. But we realized that we have to remember the people who are already here and have been with us, our super fans, the people who are loyal, who's been watching all of our content regardless of what we put out because they just want to spend time with us. and. So we want to really foster that environment and nurture that group of people. And if you're one of those group of people, let me know in the comments. Um, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know. Make something up. <laughs> let me know in the comments if you're one of our peeps, you know, and uh, you watch pretty much all the content that we put out regardless of what it is. And we thought it'd just be easier for you to not have to bounce back and forth between two channels two we can be monetized with all our videos and even if it's not a video you're interested in and you want to skip over it that's okay i understand um just turn on your notifications so you know when we do put out a recipe video or whatever reason you came to our channel to begin with um but three i am more than a chef i feel like being resourceful is so much a part of me that it infiltrates the rest of my life and everything that i do all the decisions i make the decor in our home um, I've thrifted even a lot of things in our kitchen, kitchen tools, and I just feel like it's so much part of me that I feel like I have to share that. And if I don't share that, I do feel like I'm stifled or I'm not being completely authentic to who I am. On top of it, I'll be able to be more consistent, which is the thing that kills us, right? Like we would love to be consistent and crank out a new video for you every week. If we could in a perfect world, we would crank out more than one in a week, but you know how long it takes to film and to edit. And so to find that time within three days of working is really difficult for me. I just feel like this is the time to make that change. So for instance, the reason we started doing this is because we have a whole Florida vacation series um, coming out and I was debating where should I put it? Should I put this video on our vlog channel and this one over on our main channel? 
and it was a lot of like back and forth and then we decided you know I, I think it makes sense to just put the whole series out on our main channel and kind of like spider web into each other and one thing I want to just emphasize is please sign up for a newsletter and this is something that we mention once in a while but we do have a newsletter which I am not very active on but I'm kind of try to make changes on that so that you can actually receive notifications when we post new videos. Sign up, we'll leave it for you down in the description box, a link to it. And if you just sign up, then you will automatically get a free knife guide that we worked very hard on. It's a PDF chock full of information about the best knives that I recommend, especially for beginner cooks. Um, why I like it, um, actual brands and links to them. I think that's like a good little thank you for just joining our newsletter. I feel like I'm gonna be missing saying a lot of things, but the, the main point is, is that on top of being a chef, I am a mom, I am a wife. It is a huge part of my life. It makes up a majority of my week, uh, spending time with Lincoln and thinking about him and thinking about mom activities. So if I share a little bit of stuff like that with you, I hope you don't mind because that's really who I am. And it's easier for me to show that content because in a way that content scripts itself. I'm already doing it and living it. Like I'm filming this video after dropping him off at school and filming another video. So I'm just trying the best that I can in the times that he's in school, but I can't, you know, I'm just, I'm not a magician. I can't do everything that I want to do all at once. I hope this made sense and that you're ready to join this journey with me and with us. Uh, we will still try to focus having the channel at least 75% still cooking, recipes and kitchen tips. I have a whole series in mind that I want to do that's helpful, you know, to help you navigate the kitchen and to not only have recipes, but real life skills that will help you in your journey with cooking, to help you have a mindset of a chef and to give you the skills that you need to improve your skills in the kitchen. And I hope that's interesting, but it might be interwoven with the rest of my life. The Florida series is a good series. I broke it up into a bunch of different ones, including our road trip snacks, our Florida vacation eats, activities we did on the road. So if you're gonna travel this summer, it's a good one to watch. And we did this over the course of spring break. Oh, there's a bunny. Yeah, I hope this shows a little bit more of our personality and helps us to be a little bit more consistent so we can stay connected. Remember to also follow us on our social media. We post there like stories and stuff um, on our IG. So I'll leave that information for you. And also, if you haven't checked it out, check out our Skillshare class. We just posted that. That's one of the reasons we've been quiet for a while. And we did a class there called Kitchen Confidence, Practical Ways to Help You Cook with Intuition, which is a concept of learning how to cook with your gut and not necessarily always relying on recipes. So you can watch it for two weeks free if you follow our link, which I'll leave it down. Please use our link because it's a direct referral code and that gives us direct help from you and which helps support you know this channel and everything we do because otherwise we couldn't be able to do this you know because like at the end of the day like we have to do this for our living for our job too and Joe has a part-time job because we need to supplement so we're thankful that you've been watching us and walking with us this whole time but I want to be able to share more about Lincoln and more about my hobbies and showing decorations around my house and how I use it, like showing other parts of our home, even outside of the kitchen, which is why I'm back here in our patio. Yeah, so I hope this makes sense. If I left anything out, I'm really sorry. And I'll try to cover that in the next few videos that we post out, like always sharing with you the why I'm posting a certain video um, and always linking back to this video if you're wondering what the heck happened to our channel. So sorry about the back and forth. We did it again. We went from one channel to two to one channel to two and now back to one so that's super crazy we understand it sounds like we're nuts we kind of are it was a really long and hard decision we had many talks weighing out the pros and cons of doing that we understand that it could be kind of like youtube suicide in terms of the algorithm of having people not understand what the channel is about but we're hoping that because we have a different goal in mind that that's not an issue like we don't have to be like you know, superstar um, YouTubers with millions of subscribers. Like that was our initial goal when we started, but now we, we're living for and doing this for something more. 
We really want to start a community of the people who really want to be here with us so that we can mutually get to know each other. So more on that later, but we've been really stewing on the idea of that, of like starting some sort of club or like membership or something where we can really get to know each other and encourage each other in real life, like real people. You guys, I am not a gardener. I have no green thumb, but I have attempted to plant <laughs> these genip or perilla leaves, but it snowed yesterday. And look, we had this covered and it flew away. So it's completely like dying. I don't know what to do. Oh, do I give up? See, this one was covered, I think. Let's see if this one survived the storm. Oh, it's a little better, but it's not much. All right, guys, you need some sun. Oh, goodness, I don't know what to do. Somebody help me. <laughs> I think the pandemic definitely had something to do with it, like helped us to think. Also, our road trip to Florida was 14 hours there and 14 hours back. And so we had nothing but time and thoughts. We were like listening to audio books and business books and discussing things. So I think that really helped us to kind of like hone in and be realistic to ourselves. And I will definitely try to put out more recipes as it makes sense to the content that we're putting out. But I really wanna hone in on the fact that I have a new mindset of being your kitchen coach. I wanna walk you through different basic steps, help you to develop a mentality that helps you to cook better, that makes you wanna be in the kitchen, excited to pick up ingredients and give you actual life skills. I'm going to try to do more content like that, but also sprinkle in a little flavor from the rest of our life and what, whatever I'm actually going through. I know it might not make sense to this channel, but it is truly who I am. As you know, I was a fashion designer, so that design part of me is always going to be there. Like, I always still like dressing well. I like design. I studied color theory. Like, I understand all those things, which I think helped me to be a better food stylist and chef and to, to develop videos and things like that to create a story. So I'm proud of that background, and I still want to incorporate that into our daily life. And so if I can share that with you, then that's a privilege and an honor. By the way, guys, I have to show you, like, the most beautiful tree. And this is so awesome. It's our tree. Look at this. This is a magnolia tree, I believe. I know nothing about flowers or plants, but that's what my friend Audrey told me. And these are hostas. They're about to grow. So yeah, it's a little glimpse of our new home. But just wanted to capture this before they all fall down. Gorgeous, right? We're like new to this neighborhood and my neighbors must think I'm super weird. I mean, I've really not met them because of the pandemic. Everyone keeps to themselves, but... <laughs> I already had two cars stop by and look at me and everyone stops by when I'm filming out the window with, while they're walking their dogs. We're probably already the super weird people living in this neighborhood. I've accepted it. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or you just want to say hello, leave an encouragement or a comment, please leave it down below. I read all of your comments, 100% of them, even if I can't answer all of them. And with the membership, maybe that's something that we can do where you'll have more direct access with me and we can have like chats and, you know, things like that. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and also sign up for our newsletter. I'll see you next time. Bye.